Hello, and welcome back to Duma Tutorials from Trinity Web Hosting. Today we're going to take a look at organizing your website. But first, we're going to take a look at a sample of what our end goal is with these tutorials. Um, on the screen in front of you, you see a site built by churchtemplates.com. It's an example sample site, like the one we're building on the tutorial, but something like what you're probably trying to build. And you can see that on the top, this site is organized with menu, um, menu items into different um, categories. Now, to, that's what we're talking about today. We're going to talk about organizing your site with the use of categories. Now, every, um, every page on your site has multiple articles. Um, and these articles are organized in categories and subcategories. So on our sites, we suggest that you have one category for each of the, um, of the main menu items you will have on, your, on the top of your menu and subcategories for all of those pages that have multiple articles under each subcategory. Now to create categories and subcategories, we're going to go back to the control panel on your site, which we have opened up here uh, on another tab. We're going to go to Category Manager. Once you've reached Category Manager, you'll see that you already have one category, which is your home page. And like I said, that's the first um, menu item that you see on this on this other site and so it's also the first category we have but today we're going to create another category so we go to the category uh, create new category and say we wanted to create the first heading so who we are as a main category we leave the parent blank because if it has a parent it makes it a subcategory and we leave everything else the way it is because we don't need to change any of this unless you really want to write down here you know some sort of note so you remember what's in this category but usually the title should be pretty self-explanatory so you hit save and close and you'll see that under home we have a new category it's called who we are now if you go back to this site you'll see that under the who we are there's a several drop down menus and each of these have various things so so say for one of these titles you had multiple articles. So for what we believe, there was perhaps several articles in that, maybe a little bit of blog or something like that. You can create another category, so, uh, category, but it's, this time we're going to create a subcategory. So we click on the new button again, and you go to say what we believe. And then to create a subcategory, you go do it under who we are as a parent and that will make it a subcategory and if you hit save you'll see that when a queue come out it is tabbed in indicating that it is a subcategory under who we are and so all the articles that you put in the what we believe subcategory will also be in the who we are category however not all category uh, articles in the who we are category will be in the what we believe category that's all we're going to talk about today in our next tutorial we're going to look at creating articles and putting content in articles for your site. And the one after that we're going to talk about menu items. Um, three of these tutorials together should get you well on your way to being able to build your site for yourself. Thank you very much for joining us and I hope you look at our next tutorials.